Snob Free members, just wanted to do a quick review on a couple things. Uh, just finished up my Grendel build, I already posted some pictures of it, but I wanted to show off this Bowtack barrel spline tool. And this is basically like a Geisley reaction rod knockoff, but it's basically the exact same thing. It's like 4140 chrome molly steel, it's like two and a half pounds, and uh, it's awesome. It's like 60 bucks right now. But basically the way this tool works is for upper receiver work and it locks into the barrel extension locking lugs as you can see. So it looks just like the front of a bolt. So basically what you do, here's my Grendel upper. Basically if you ever want to do any upper receiver work, you just slide that into the locking lugs and it provides a rock solid platform to work on your upper so that way if you ever need to remove a barrel nut that might be a little bit stubborn and caked on there if they didn't put any anti-seize on you can break it loose without having to worry about your upper receiver bending or cracking or putting any undue stress on it so basically all the stress and all that torque is placed on the barrel extension itself and basically, rule of thumb is steel is always going to be better than aluminum as far as handling any torque or anything like that. So it's really handy, but also with this, you could get to any of the upper receiver by using this. And because of the locking lugs, you can lock it however you want. You can work on the ejection port if you have like a standard A3 upper. If you uh, wanted to drive a roll pin for like a forward assist, You'd be able to handle that by flipping it out on its side. You can pretty much do whatever you want to the upper. And uh, it gives you a good solid support. But what I also wanted to show you guys is the fact that if you've ever dimpled a barrel, sometimes it can be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and it's kind of hard to make sure that you're absolute precise on how you get the uh, gas port lined up on your gas block. Now I already did this with my drill press but as you can see I've already dimpled the barrel kind of out of focus but I already dimpled it but I was going to show you guys a little tool that I have. It's made by Black Rifle Disease Engineering or BRD Engineering and it's a gas uh, or it's a barrel dimpling jig and it comes in really handy doesn't cover every single gas block but most of them have this spacing but regardless it'll at least do one dimple for pretty much any gas block because the gas block is uh basically the gas port on the gas block is indexed off of the uh rear set screw so basically the way this thing works so i don't know if you can see it but the uh, tat or the dimple portion for the uh, gas port, the top of it has a pointed screw. Doesn't really want to focus very well, but it's a pointed screw that indexes on the gas port of the barrel, so it, it lines it up perfectly every time. And then the other side has a screw that's got like a little rubber backed head to it, so it provides friction and it doesn't mar up your uh, barrel. And then these two holes are used to actually put the drill bit in to dimple. Now you, it'd be better off to use like a uh, drill press like I did, but you could do this with just a hand drill. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. And basically what this does is it slides right over the barrel, which I need to adjust the set screw don't have a camera mount I'm just using my phone so sorry all right so basically this just slides over the barrel and meets up to the gas that shoulder on a barrel and then what you want to do is like with this spline tool you can just flip the receiver over and basically you're going to line that up somewhat with the gas port Get your 
Allen key. And what you're going to do is you're going to line that up for the most part. And then you're going to tighten it down. Once you get it a little bit tight, I just kind of move it back and forth. And you can tell that the tip is indexing on the gas port. And that locks it into place. And for added strength, just tighten down on that rubber screw. Now we got it locked down. And then you just flip her over and you're going to have it perfectly lined up for your set screws for most gas blocks. And like I said, at least it'll at least get the first dimple perfectly straight. Most gas blocks, I forget this distance center to center. I think it's like 0.54 inches or something like that. Um, so it covers all those gas blocks if you want to do both dimples like I did. But most people would agree one dimple is probably good enough. Um, but then, once you have that lined up, just a quick little... Basically, you get your drill bit and just put it directly right inside the port here. And then you're just going to hit it. And then if you know if you want to do two, do that. Um, like I said, it's going to be more solid in a drill press, like an XY axis uh, vice or something like that. But it makes it really easy to do these, and it's absolutely foolproof every single time. So that's what I use. I think they uh, run like 50 or 60 bucks. There's cheaper ones out there, but they don't necessarily index off the gas port like this one does. Um, but they definitely come in handy. And uh, if you want to pick one up, I think brdengineering.com and also Brownells sells them too. That's actually where I bought mine. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or PM me or whatever. And uh, thanks for watching.